Okay, since relaxation is all about pumps, I'm gonna talk a little bit about different pumps, the difference in fit, size, and setting. And then I'm also going to pump a little bit to show you that at this moment in time, I'm not producing any milk. So for my journey, I'm mostly going to be utilizing portable pumps because I'm going to have a strict routine that will also be something that I'm doing on the go. So if I'm traveling or if I'm driving or I'm just doing other things, I can still stick to my routine and I'm going to use some portable pumps for that. However, when it comes to pumps, there are various different pumps out there. A lot of the times within induced lactation and relactation, people will start off with a hospital grade pump. So they will normally have a stronger motor. They will be a little bit stronger in what they can achieve in terms of the setting that you have as well. And they can sometimes stimulate your breasts a little bit better. However, once you have established that you are reacting to stimuli, you can move on to having portable pumps. Now, if this is your relactation journey, you can also already start off with that and see how you get on. Now, most portable pumps will already have a pre-setting. You can also up and down that setting and you can most certainly hard a setting that is working for you. The most important part about every pump is the flange because that will represent an adequate latch and the stimulation on your breast that is actually going to cause the right stimulation for your milk to react and for your breast to react as well. If you are finding that when you're pumping it's painful, your nipples come out and they are discolored, they are very red or very pale or they are just not feeling right, it's always important to check the flange of this and see if you might need to go a size up or down. And if you feel that pumping is painful in general, you play around with the settings and that can make a big difference. All right, I'm gonna turn on my pump now. Is it turning on? Yes, it's on. I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna choose quite a high setting just to make sure that everything's going well. And I'm gonna start pumping a little bit. All right, I've been pumping for about 10 minutes. There is nothing that I could pump, of course not. This is my first pump after three years, so I'm going to have to implement a strong pumping routine. Now a pumping routine can be every couple of hours for a couple of minutes. You can double pump, you can do lots and lots of things. So the next post tomorrow is all going to be about pumping routines and what they will do to your lactation or pumping journey.